let's talk about the next topic in units and dimensions which is dimensions of physical quantities all physical quantities can uh, be said to possess something called dimensions in any metric system these fundamental quantities are said to represent fundamental dimensions of that metric system and every other derivable quantity essentially possesses the combination of these dimensions in si units we have seven fundamental units and we have seven dimensions describing this specific metric system so over here length mass time have l m n t as their dimensions if you carefully note there are square brackets present across uh, that word which essentially represents dimensions of length next electric current temperature and amount of substance have their dimensions as i theta and n correct and then luminous intensity which has si unit of candela has dimensions of j now these uh, terms that we use in dimensions are sort of conventional and the student must stick with only these variable names whenever they are writing the dimension of that specific physical quantity apart from that in si unit we have two other unit uh, two other fundamental quantities which are plane angle and solid angle defined having their units as radians and, and steradians however these quantities are dimensionless or they have the dimension of 1 this must be very carefully noted let's talk about how to calculate dimensions of derived quantities so over here let's say i have a quantity which is kinetic energy which i know the formula is half mv square and i have to calculate the dimensions of kinetic energy the way we proceed is that we first of all substitute for every fundamental physical quantity present we substitute its dimension inside so for mass i'll substitute m and for velocity i'll substitute meter per second which is length upon time or l t raised to power minus 1 in the main equation of kinetic energy now we have one more term left which is half but half is a pure number and whenever we have a pure number that is dimension less so essentially after putting all the dimensions i can essentially say dimension of kinetic energy which is represented by square brackets around the variable name dimensions of kinetic energy is nothing but because half is dimensionless the dimension will be only 1 and for mass dimension is m for v dimension is l t raised to power minus 1 for its v square so it will be the whole square of l t raised to power minus 1 and upon calculation i get dimensions of kinetic energy is nothing but mass into l square into uh, t raised to power minus 2 i hope this is very very clear now let's look at some derived quantities and their calculated dimensions So over here I have some derived quantities and we'll try to see their units and we'll also try to see their dimensions. So the first we'll talk about velocity which we know the unit is simply meter per second. Meter is the representation of length and second is the representation of time. So the dimension very intuitively is simply l t raised to power minus 1. Next we'll talk about acceleration. The unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Meter is the representation of uh, length and second is the representation of time so intuitively dimension directly is l t raised to power minus 2 next force force the si unit of force is newtons as you may have studied in your lower standards but the si unit is actually uh, derived from mass into acceleration equation which is nothing but kg into meter per second square kg is mass meter per second square is acceleration if i put dimensions the kg can be represented by the dimension of mass meter can be represented by l and second by t so the dimension of force comes out to be m l t raised to power minus 2 next momentum momentum is defined by mass into velocity so its unit is simply kg meter per second kg into meter per second and the dimensions is simply m uh, l t raised to power minus 1 next area area is simply meter square meter square is simply l square so the dimension of area becomes l square next we have volume volume is meter cube and dimension is simply l cube next kinetic energy which we just derived was half mv square and the unit comes out to be kg meter square per second square and because of that the dimension is simply ml square t raised to power minus 2 as a student you don't need to memorize these values because you can always calculate the dimensions very easily as long as you know the unit or the equation that helps us uh, find the value of the derived quantity for example over here kinetic energy as long as you remember the equation ke is equal to half mv square you can always calculate the dimension as well as the unit so summarizing what we just learned 
I can say that physical quantities are described by their dimensions, which means that any physical quantity will possess some dimension. Now, in any metric system, there are fundamental dimensions and there are derived dimensions, just like fundamental quantities give out derived quantities. And plane angle and solid angle are dimensionless or they have a dimension of 1 even though they are defined as fundamental entities in SI units. I hope these ideas are very clear. Thank you.